Hi, this is Coggett, and uh, it's a slow cooker Monday, so I'm going to make another recipe on a, using the a slow cooker. And the recipe that I'm doing today is uh, wild rice cream of mushroom soup. And I'll tell you what, this is delicious uh, if you never tried it. It's really good, really satisfying, and it just, it, it just tastes good. Uh, there's some ingredients what you need to make this, of course. Uh, need some uh, cream of mushroom soup. Uh, need three of these. Need some long grain wild rice. And I, I use Uncle Ben's because it's got the seasoning pack of what's going to go in. And I like the flavor of the Uncle Ben's. Uh, some mushrooms. You can use either fresh or you can use... Uh, the canned, it doesn't matter. I'd like using the fresh. And uh, three cups of water. Very simple to do. I mean, it's not hard at all. And I'll go ahead and get started here and show you how all this comes about. And something else is, I'll be having this in two parts. Uh, the first part, I'll show you how to uh, uh, put the ingredients in. And the second part will be the finished product and the plating up. I'll show you how it turned out. So, uh, go ahead and move it over here where y'all can see. Oh, and something else what I forgot is uh, you're also going to need some salt and pepper. I got some kosher salt and, uh, of course, black pepper, what I'm going to put in there also. So... find my spoon here and we'll be in business. I always have problems finding my stuff. Well, it's not there. Who knows? Anyway, I'll use this one. It'll work. What you want to do is just go ahead and take your uh, cream of mushroom soup and just uh, dump it in the slow cooker if it'll come out. I'll make it come out. This soup is really good. If you like mushrooms and you like a mushroom flavor and you like uh, wild rice, and this is, uh, I'll tell you, it's great. And something else is like I can't express enough on these uh, uh, crock pot lighters or slow cooker lighters. It just, they're fantastic. There's, uh, the cleanup is so easy and it's just, uh, uh, I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to use them. I really like them. Trying to get all that. going to do is take some of my water and put it in this can kind of switch it around then just pour the water in there see if that gets a little bit of that mushroom soup out from the bottom it just looks like it's working pretty good Stir it up. I'm going to go ahead and add my mushrooms to it. 
because these mushrooms are going to cook down. They might seem a little bit uh, big right now, but they kind of shrink up when you're cooking it. Give that a good stir. Go ahead and add my rice to it. Mix that rice up. Then add the seasonings. This is what's going to give it a real good flavor is the seasonings here. Turn that open. Just dump that in there. Good seasonings there. Just mix it up real good. Add a little salt and pepper. That's all it is to it. We put the lid on it. Go ahead and turn it up to high. And this is going to cook on high for about anywhere from five to six hours. Uh, what you want is you want the uh, rice to become tender. And once the rice is cooked and it's tender, it take, uh, in a slow cooker, it takes about that long uh, at a high. Now you can go low and it would take anywhere from uh, about six to eight hours. Uh, what's great about this is you can do this before you leave for work. Set it eight hours later when you come home from work, uh, you have a meal for you. And that's what's so great about slow cookers. They're just, they're fantastic. I, I love using them. I, lo I love the way the food tastes when they come out. And it's just, uh, can never go wrong with one. And uh, so that's that's all it is to it. And uh, I appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. And uh, I hope you give this a try. And I'll have a second video coming up, which will uh, be the finished product. I'll show you how it come out. So uh, this is Scoggin. And uh, y'all take care.